Welcome, my friends of the interwebs. Uh, this video is going to be all about how to clean your lens for your camera. And I don't care if it's a camcorder lens, I don't care if a if it's a point and shoot lens, or as in today, I'm going to demonstrate a DSLR lenses. Um, but there's a million ways to actually clean your lens, and everybody's got their own thing. I'm just gonna show you the way I do it. And I'm a noob when it comes to the whole photography photography thing, but I'm an old veteran when it comes to videoing. I've been doing video for a very long time. Uh, you can check it. <laughs> check my stats. Um, not necessarily on this channel, but I'm not, actually I'm not even sure which channel I'm going to put this up on. Anyway, I've been using lens pens for the last few years, and I love them. The thing that prompted me to make this video is I actually watched somebody who was... <clears throat> A fairly competent photographer uh, uh, talk about cleaning his lenses and he he had a lens pen uh, but the only part of it that he used was the brush and he wasn't using this part and this is the most awesome part of it all <laughs> you know so I don't know what was up with that uh, but I'm going to show you how I use the lens pen. I, I believe it to be the proper way, but like I said, there's always a million ways to do something. Um, I'm not using any cloths, any kind of paper. Uh, and it's strictly, this is how I would do it. And then I'm going to actually, at the end, I think I'm going to attach a demonstration video where I actually demonstrate what I, how I would do it in the field because this just recently happened. Okay, so first of all, let me introduce you to lens pens. You can get these at Best Buy. You can get them on Amazon, fairly cheap. Um, they're under 10 bucks. No matter where you get them, they're under. If they're over ten bucks, don't buy them unless there's multiple ones for multiple purposes. Whatever. Anyway, this one I just picked up at Best Buy, and I want to say I paid right around nine bucks for it. And uh, let me give you a close up of it here, so you soak it in, so you know exactly what you're looking at. Anyway, I'll read it. What it says it says the Safe Lens Cleaner Lens Pen Ultra Pro. Now this is a new one, as you can tell. This is my older lens pen, same company, and apparently they've, you know, this one's old. This one here looks bigger. So, anyway, new improved carbon cleaning formula, uh, safe, no liquids, extra long life, nothing cleans better, safe for all camera, camcorder, and optical lenses. And I will tell you, I've been using these for a while now, and uh, they they do a really great job. Anyway, they didn't pay me to say that, although they should. <laughs> uh, it says the safe lens cleaner, blah, blah, blah. Um, the perfect accessory for your cleaning lens, or excuse me, for cleaning your lenses. Uh, new improved carbon cleaning formula with no objectionable dust, safe for all optical lenses, coated and multi-coated. No liquids, uh, issues, or cloth self self-contained. Extra long life with up to 500 cleanings. Uh, envir environmentally friendly, environmental friendly, and non-toxic. Some people that's important too, not me personally, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> you know, retractable, ultra soft, natural brush with cap, uh, ergonomic uh, shape for ergonomic shape for comfort and ease of use. Nothing cleans fingerprints or smudges faster, better, or easier. And I will tell you that they are not lying to you. Okay, so I'm not going to open this one up because for the most part, other than, you know, it's a little bigger, it's basically the same thing as this. I don't know if they change the formula or it doesn't really matter. So anyway, here's the drill. Oh, two things that you really need. You need a lens pen, pen and you need some rocket air. <laughs> rocket air. Um, these come in different shapes and sizes and different manufacturers. Uh, this one is with G-I-O-T-T-O. Is that a, oh, I guess I don't know. Anyway, I got this on Amazon. I don't remember what I paid for it. I've had it for a few years. It's held up really nicely. Um, they make smaller ones. I might actually get a smaller one for my new uh, for my new bag, my my sling bag, just because this is kind of big, but it does push some air. Okay. All right. So those are the things you need. You need these two things. Really, that's it. You need these two things. Nothing else. I'm going to move this over here. All right, so this is a DSLR uh, lens. It happens to be the 55 to 250 kit lens that comes with a lot of DSLRs. Um, this is not the STM lens, and I may, I haven't decided yet, I may actually sell this lens. It's brand spanking new. 
um, I'm actually sell this lens because I've got another lens that I've got my eyes on. And I don't know, uh, I, for what I do, I'm not sure that this is exactly what I need. I'm not looking to reach out to touch somebody. I, I'm not the paparazzi, <laughs> you know. So anyway, so um, I'm going to do this real quick and then I want to actually show how I would do it in the field with the camera mounted on a tripod. So, oh God, we're already over five minutes. First thing you have to do, of course, is remove your lens cap. Okay, so you got your lens, and this lens is like I said, it's new, it's clean. Um, however, even say, even said, even though I said that, I don't know, you probably won't be able to see it, but there's a little speck or two of dust. Now, by the way, even if you don't want to clean it, but you want to get the dust off, that's where this really comes in handy. And that dust that was on there just blew right away. By the way, this is a whole lot, uh, in my opinion, easier on your camera than that that canned air. Because the canned air, um, and, and sometimes you notice it depends on how you do it. You can get some, you can actually get some condensation coming out of it, and it freezes things. I don't know that that's really good. So blow off any uh, of the visible dust. <clears throat> you can then, okay, this thing has a little. Just let me push it up. There's a little brush. And brush it off. You can go this way, or you can go circular, whatever you want to do. Okay, now listen. You take this end of it, unscrew this cap, okay? It's like that. It's got a little carbon cleaning stuff on it. And you take your lens. Now, there's a couple different ways people do this. Um, some people go in a circular motion like this. Uh, well, that's showing with my big fat hand in a way. I guess I tilt it like that. Okay, around the lens. Some people do it like that. Some people say to only swipe this way. But to me, I'm not entirely positive that that makes a whole lot of sense. So you could probably combine the two because you've still got these, these corners to get into. Okay, now believe it or not, believe it or not, this little tip here with the carbon on it has just cleaned the bejeebas out of this, literally. Okay, I'm going to set this down for a second. Put this back on. And when you put it back on, it recharges that tip. Now, I don't know how many times I've used this. Apparently, this new one here is good for, would they say, 500 cleanings or something like that. All right, which is a lot. Believe me, it's a lot. As long as you take care of your lenses. All right, so then hit the rocket air again, like that, like so. Okay, and if you want to, you can even take the, the brush. Kind of brush off any kind of debris that, that, it, that the lens pen may have kicked loose. You develop your own system, but that's it. This lens is awesome now. It is, you see, it kind of glimmers. <laughs> it did before anyway, like I said, this is a new lens. Um, but yeah, that's it, that's it. Cleaning your lenses 101. Some people, you know, breathe on the lens and then they wipe it with some lens cloth. I'm not bagging on anybody for however they clean your lenses. You know, you clean your lenses as long as you're happy with it. Uh, this video is more just for people to introduce them to the lens pen, introduce them to a nice and easy way to keep your lenses spotless. All right, I was going to show you uh, the camera, my DSLR mounted on a tripod uh, and me cleaning the lens off of that, but you know what? Now that I think about it, it's kind of redundant. And there's no sense to push this video any longer than it has to, because that's it. That's cleaning lenses 101 in a nutshell. There are lots of videos showing how to clean lenses, but they're not mine. <laughs> let me know in the comment section what you think. Um, hey, and by the way, if you do it a different way, let me know. If you got a video about it, put a link to your video, you know, in the comment section. I'm cool with that. And, uh, you know, it's all about helping one another anyway. If you are interested, and I am not thoroughly convinced that I'm going to be selling this lens, but if you're interested in a 55 to 250 Canon um, uh, lens, it, it, it's a... Uh, it's a really good lens. It really is a good lens. It's got image stabilization, autofocus, um, all that good stuff. I just, I just kind of want something else. The, you know, I don't want to tell you what that is because I want it to be a surprise unboxing. <laughs> you know, these lenses are expensive. You know, these lenses are expensive. So if you have a lens that isn't something you're going to use a lot, you sell it and you get a lens that you will use a lot. <laughs> so that's kind of the way I look at it. Uh, anyway, and by the way, this. This is my 70D, and I've got the uh, the 40 millimeter prime lens on there, pancake lens, and I love this lens. Love it, love it, love it. All right, that's all I got for you guys. Um, if you like any comments, put them in the comment section. If, by the way, by the way, if you do want to, if you're interested in buying this lens, 
Send me a PM. Don't just say it in the comment section. Send me a PM and say, hey, brother, you know, how much you want for it? <laughs> you know, and I don't even know how much I want for it. Um, I, off the top of my head, I'm not entirely positive what these things sell for. I don't know. I'll have to look. Um, it came with my camera. I got this lens and then the 18 to 55 uh, uh, kit lens. I like the 18 to 55. In fact, I use that a lot, a lot. Um, it, you know, in all honesty, the 18 to 55 is much more useful than this 55 to 250. I did use this one time reaching out to get some birds because, you know, birds don't like to be filmed. They don't like you being close to them. Uh, some ducks, actually, and some geese. So, anyway, that's all I got. I could go on forever about that. So over, I went over 10 minutes. Everybody take care. See ya!